Man denkt immer, oh, you always think, oh, these poor people with cancer, but you never think it will be you. Especially as a child, it's such a slap in the face and you don't know what it means. When she got sick, she was only 12 years old. The disease meant that I saw her growing up very, very fast. At the end of the day, her childhood was stolen from her. Weekly visits to the clinic has become a central part of family life for Katharina and her mother. She sees a doctor more often than her teachers. The size of a medical file shows how long it's been. Katharina is expected to recover. Her progress is good. Her general condition has improved. Even so, the emotional strain is for everyone plain to see. She's now getting medication that boosts her mood and appetite. Her joie de vivre is back, and she has more confidence in herself. Home with her mom is where Katharina feels safe and processes what's been happening to her. In every situation, no matter how bad it was, we always found something to laugh about. It's sometimes macabre, but it becomes a kind of dark humor that not everyone understands. Only cancer people will get it. Sound therapy is her main way to relax. Even though she's delayed school exams and can no longer play sport, Katharina's days are full with cancer treatment. For the future, of course, I hope that I'll get better. I hope that I can go back to school, graduate and study something nice, whether that's medicine or something else. I just want a banal life.